Obviously, we jumped uh, a long ways ahead from where the last video left off, so uh, that's my fault. Uh, <laughs> I've ended up, I think, recording or erasing the footage I had from the uh, previous video or from, where I, from where I started digging this job to uh, where we're at now. I think I left my cameras in the excavator or something that night, and I'm really bad about... Uh, if I don't get home every night and download my clips, the next morning when I get them, turn my cameras on, I just go and format my SD cards and we go on to the next day. And I try to remind myself the night before not to do that, just to pick up the filming from where I left off. And here we are. This is the uh, end of the ditch. It's about not quite 700 feet down the way. Uh, I've already got everything kind of padded. This is the, actually the second roll of pipe because like I said, I had I've just kind of taken a couple days and combined them together. So we had the oh the first roll of pipe on here was like 350 feet because that was all they had left on this trailer. And then uh, the second roll was a full 500 foot roll we got. So and the water company came out and fused the two together. I didn't get I got a little bit of clips of that, but. It was on the previous day where, uh, yeah, we deleted those. So now we're working on the backfilling <laughs> already. So yeah, I don't know. I was kind of looking forward. I mean, it was kind of an interesting job. It took me a whole lot longer to dig it than I anticipated. I was thinking two days. It took almost four days just to dig it. And I went through about three sets of teeth because it was so rocky. So uh, in that first video, that's about all the footage I had of digging it. There was a little bit more uh, digging that would have been in this video towards the, I guess it would be on the beginning, but right before we rolled that pipe out. So I did try to explain uh, how I was having to bed the pipe in and what I was doing. And the pipe we're using in this video is actually what they call IPS, which means iron pipe size. Uh, it's two inch still, but it's the size, it's like it's the outside diameter of like two inch uh, PVC or plastic or iron pipe. And uh, like I said, the water company came out, they actually welded the two or fused them, is what they call it, pieces together. And uh, you're supposed to bed it in with, we call them screenings here, they're fines, basically six inches below the pipe and then 12 inches uh, above the pipe. So that's what you kind of saw there at the beginning of the video. Now, uh, the remainder of the clips I've got is just kind of backfilling these ditches, trying to get them cleaned up out of these people's yards and then uh, spreading them out there with the loader. And then and probably the following day, we'll try to get some topsoil and put on here. Then I'll have to bring the straw blower out and seed and blow straw on them. And then the water company will come out and they're going to actually do all the hookups and stuff because they're... Uh, where the main stop there was a flusher valve on there with the concrete block and stuff on the end of it that they wanted to kind of dig up and see what was around there. I'm going to be there so I can kind of figure out on the next one what needs to be done and then they will also set the meter and hook the meter up to the house line. So I basically was just responsible for digging this 600 foot or 700 foot ditch, padding the pipe in there, getting it in and getting it ready and then they were going to come out there and kind of hook it all up. So Hopefully, I'll uh, <laughs> do a little better job on the next sewer main or the next water main I got of kind of getting all those steps and going over the pipe and what all that entails. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy the remainder of the video. And uh, yeah, I'll try not to uh, delete anymore if I can.